Alfred and the anointed Dustin humans are at it again here. He's just about to pick up some treasure after a big battle to the south here. So we're just jumping in here at day 56. I'm just running around the map here just doing a little recap because it's been a few days since I've been in here. Uh, we got our main little uh, three settlements here. We have conquered the volcanic uh, lava lands to the south. i got to figure out what to do down here because I don't think you can really put a city down here. Uh, Shatter Skull Keep we conquered. Uh, we got to take out this guy. Big old lightning giant or something. What is he, a storm giant? Uh, but I don't think I have enough units here. Nope, oh, just lost my voice there. I don't think I have enough units to uh, grab this guy here. He's got five units. He's got tier four. Uh, a bunch of these guys aren't too scary, but uh, yeah, I got kind of miscellaneous guys going on here. Seven versus five. I don't really want to lose any more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw these guys after they pick up whatever this treasure is. And uh, sort of regroup in our borders here. Kind of rearm them and everything. Uh, and then the next goal will be... What do we got? I got like this little stranded guy over here we got to take down. It's pretty scary looking. Uh, this guy here and make our way up into this area. Uh, then after we've got that all conquered. Uh, hmm. We'll have to set our eyes on this city here. Uh, that kind of neutral city. And then after that, of course, there's a the whole continent over here with the two other players on it. Uh, looks like the evil goblin guy, he's building a seed of shadow, which is like a victory condition, so we'll have to focus on that too. Uh, we also have the underground. We have an army down here uh, with our allies' uh, radiance, their vassal. And, but there's not many places to go except to try and help them by taking out whatever's in here. But I don't know if the, this army's strong enough to be able to take out whatever's in here. But we'll end the turn and uh, see what the story unfolds to. So day 57's here. Not a whole lot happened in it. Uh, we just got some stuff from Chacton down here. A city that we incorporated into our empire of these uh, goblins. Uh, just got to figure out what we should do with it now. So we do have something boosted here, the blacksmith. Gives us more draft income for units. So we're just going to pick up that. It'll only take two turns. So I'm going to need to have some more units. And I should actually plan to see what I'm going to do there. So we're going to jump down here. Alfred's going to grab whatever this is here. What is this anyway? Is a cache containing an item. What do we get? Staff of Radiance. Just what Alfred needs, of course. We're going to take the reward. And uh, we're going to go see... Uh, do, do, do. See what it does here. So, where does the Staff of Radiance go? Oh, it's going to be his main weapon. Uh, do, 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 do. Activates warning defense mode. Single magical attack at target unit. Okay, blind. 90% chance of inflicting blind. Oh, okay, it's got a melee attack too. So, I don't think we're really going to give him a staff. I'm not too sure if I have use for that staff. I'm going to keep him with his charge strike, 24 damage. The one he kind of started with. Yeah, he's got a bunch of other fun stuff on him here. Okay, let's close that off. And I guess he has a level up, and I didn't see it. So we'll go pick through these things. This one seems like a no-brainer here. Endurance training, everybody in his army... Uh, gets extra hit points, 15 hit points a lot, more status resistance. So that is what we will do, confirm that, and close off there. Alright, we're going to move our armies around, so these guys are going to withdraw. Uh, wow, this terrain really takes up all their hit points, or all their movement points. Well, the other thing I have to figure out is, do I build an outpost down here? I gotta consider that, because I don't think you really do much of a city down here, but should I have an outpost just to claim the land down here? What I think I'll do is I remember I'll build an outpost kind of in the lava area just to see sort of what it does. I don't think there's any point in building it way down here. I mean, you can put these quarries on there, so I'll just do it just to sort of see what it does, but these guys really can't move very far. So that's going to take them a while to get back. Who else do we have here? This guy. Uh, so he's just healing up. He's not going to have the strength to take this guy down. So that's what I mean. We're going to have to consolidate here. 
probably bring him back as well. He was just watching, watching this northern border here. So that's good for you. And then you, oh, okay. So we got an attacker coming. That's all right. We'll take them, no problem. We'll just defend the land here. So you're good. And then yeah, that's uh, not much happening that turn. So we're gonna end. I imagine that this group's gonna attack us. Oh no, they're gonna retreat. Okay, no problem. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff happening here. Uh, what do we got? New Empire development skills available. So we got down here uh, the uh, uh, Materium Tree. What do we got? Your units regenerate an additional one hit point per uh, one hit point per two move points they have remaining at the end of your turn. Okay, so that just heals them better. Four hundred. Um, I'm not really too concerned about anything at the moment in here. Almost got the trees filled out. What's at the end of this? Unit upkeep is by 10% per rank that unit has. Sounds promising. Okay, not going to do anything there. We got a spell ready. And uh, let's take a look at this. So I didn't actually read that. I don't actually know what I cast. <laughs> what spell was it? Usually something happens. But I got all these active spells going. Um... Uh, Tons and tons of buffs all over the place. I don't actually know which one I did that was new. Uh, so, I don't have anything in here that I really want to cast. Um, except I should summon some more units in maybe, but we're holding off on that because I really have to figure out what unit composition I want in these armies once I get them back again. Uh, we'll actually move them right now before I forget. Grab you back. Get you going. And then we got a, a spell research complete. Oh, yes. This is the one where you can mind control someone that's running. So this is uh, like a morale based uh, spell. Which I don't really have any units that lowers the morale, but I kind of went in that direction. Uh, so let's just kind of take a look here. Intimidating uh, Aura. So that's the one that damages morale as well. Uh, this is heals all of its hit points, temporary points. Okay, so that is a nice little healing spell there. And consecrated domain. Target friendly, city friendly units of domain gain resistance. Okay. Uh, so that's a buffer in area. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Uh, what do we research though? This is a, this is a pretty hefty, uh, Pretty hefty heal spell. Let's grab that. There we go. And what kind of build do we have? Uh, Nimington's got its academy built here. Okay, let's take a look. A boosted Town Hall 3, two turns. Well, that's a no-brainer there for that. I'll get them upgraded. And there's a few orders here. These guys, they're just going to do their little guard move. They're going to watch the northern northern border here. I don't have any worries over on this side, just this side. And these guys are all healed up. Let's just go take a peek and see what is going on in here. So we got a little alert. That's where they are. I wonder if they're heading to the surface. Okay, nothing there. Evil presence lingers in these lands. Uh, cloud oily smoke. Okay. A cabal of crazed cults is a play in this region. Yeah, we know. That's what we're we're here to get rid of it here, if I can. Okay, so that turn was pretty short as well. There's not much events going on at the moment. So we'll go on to the next day. Oh, here's the battle. What do we got here? Who are we up against? Okay, just one of these uh, white witches, like a frost witch. So this is a bunch of frost guys, is it? Yeah, okay. It's a bunch of frost damage. Really nothing to be worried about there. Uh, I almost want to auto combat this. Yeah, let's just see what happens. The auto combat. Oh, see, I lost my spiders, so we're gonna we're gonna retry it with an actual battle because I don't think I'd lose an extra unit if I did this. Well, we're gonna find out. I right, just did our opening turn. We're gonna end. That's fine. You know what? I don't. Six units just isn't very much. I might lose somebody here. Come to think of it, maybe that outcome is about right. Now we do have spells, so we're gonna keep doing our normal stuff, our call to glory. 
Uh, do a morale boost on everybody here. We'll just get this uh, right here. Oh, I forgot to move these guys. That's okay. Not a big deal. Uh, these are my bannermen. They need to be in the middle. Okay, we're going to just kind of move these guys up. Move you here. You here. Now, he's not going to be able to get uh, this guy, but that's not a big deal. There we are. So they're all going to kind of stay on the ground. Are these, these are melee units, right? I'm not too concerned about... Well, hopefully they're melee units. What are they going to do? Melee strike. Okay, so they do have a freezing burst. Four range. Okay, so they are ranged units. Uh, she's got a bunch of spells. Well, let's try this with her. So friendly units. Uh, nope, not that one. Gain this uh, star blades, which is extra damage and strength. And so this is definitely something I want to do, and I should be able to put it on all of them. So that's an awesome buff spell there. Okay, and let's just end the tearing. I don't think there's anything else I need to do there. Can you shoot from there? Oh, you can. It's only 10% chance. Well, let's let her fly. Oh, we got a hit. A little bit of graze, no problem. And turn, see what happens here. Because you guys are going to start launching frostbolts at me, I imagine. Ouch. Oh, frozen. That's fun. Oh, so these guys are coming in. Oh, no. I thought they were going to do a melee strike attack, but it uh, looks like they're going to throw their frostbolts at the hero. She's frozen. That's not good either, so this could actually go worse than I thought, maybe. Let's figure out what kind of spells I can bring. Uh, stones can't hold a line. I kind of like the dust storm. I can give everybody kind of like a blind here. Let's try and blind them all. Resisted. Oh, a blinded one. So can this guy do anything, or he's just completely stuck? He's completely stuck. You're completely stuck. Okay, this might actually go worse than uh, <laughs> than I had uh, originally with the auto battle. Uh, let's launch our archers. Hopefully they can do some really devastating stuff here. And it was completely devastating. Takes out a whole unit. Way to go. Uh, this guy's got his little thing here. Um, let's see if we hit. Not very big damage there. This guy is available to move. Let's bring him in. He can almost take this guy out. There, big damage. These are all the buffs I have on the units. And then we'll swing our spiders around to finish them off there. We should be able to do okay now. Okay, this should turn out just fine then. Let's end turn. Okay, we got some lightning action going on my spiders. Okay, maybe that's how they died before. Oh no! <laughs> maybe I'll lose my spiders. Eek! Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my spiders. Uh, what can she do? Arc fire on this magical bolt. Uh, looks like... I don't know what these little half-moons are after it. Can she move after she shoots? Uh, what's this one over here? Oh, channel power. So let's run her up... here. And can she do... arc fire? Okay, good hit there. Uh, we can just take this guy right out with our archers. Good. And then I can pull back my spiders. We don't actually want to lose them. Only one little spider left. And you know what? Let's just cast our rock blast down. Do some damage. Slammo. And who do I got left? The banner guys can run up. And they can do their shot. Can they shoot if they run over here? There we go. Then I can just run into my my sword guys. Oh, 
Oh, took him out. Just like that. Alright, so that was a better result, but I almost did lose the spiders. Okay, we got some nice level ups here. Oh, did this one get... Uh, is that the top metal? What did she get? Legend, yeah, okay. So, the legendary archers are awesome. Now, where is... Legend metal. Yeah, this is, increases the range. Awesome. I wanted another... I want another legendary uh, archer because I lost my other one. But it's cool. They got the cool buff seeker arrows and increased range. So that's very helpful. So these guys are just going to pull back here. Uh, well, actually, how do they get healed so fast? Huh, that's okay then. Let's keep going then. We'll stay along this road. And, but they might not be strong enough to take down what's down here. Alright, back to the surface we go. And Whispering Stone has returned. I didn't know they actually got returned. So Radiance is returned. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we can now claim Radiance into our Empire, which might not be a bad idea. We have a ton of units I could use. And, yeah, that would be very interesting. Because then I could just take them and reinforce these guys. Alright, I'll definitely consider that. I think I have to increase my city cap before I do. Uh, we got some more Empire Development skills. Which one's new? This over here, down the order line. Recruiting units during the Rally of Legis costs 50% less gold. Nice. Uh, minus five turns. You know what? That's actually a good one. 350. I, I do like the rallying thing. But I need a city cap as well. Let's spend some of this. So I want a city cap increase. And then I do want this one. I kind of like this. I like I like all those special units you get there. So let's grab that as well. There you go. So almost 500 of this Imperium uh, left. Okay, so let's close that off. So I should be able to bring these guys in. Now, did I spend too much? No, I got just enough. So let's bring these guys into the Empire. Now, once integrated, the special units of the city remain available through the Rally of Legions, and the city keeps contributing three recruitment points. Okay, cool. I should get a new hero uh, when I bring these guys in. Oh. Or... <laughs> or all their units die. <laughs> Why can't we don't get all their cool units? Huh. Well, that's weird. But okay, I guess, uh... Huh. So much, so much for that plan. <laughs> of using them. Okay, so these guys have all these borders. They got fishery things going on. We have a new little hero unit, which is their leader. Alana Aurora. Aurora? Or <laughs> whatever. Uh, charge Strike, which is very interesting. She's not writing anything. Demon Step, unit teleports the target. She get a heal here. Okay. Uh, so this is an interesting character as well. So she's got some big charge attack with this. Um, she's got some buffing items here. Looks like she's carrying around a plant. Hit points. She's got a nice fancy ring. Double the morale bonus out of killing an enemy. Okay, so she's just like a cool, like little support healer that has a big stick as well okay we can uh, we can do something with her now this city is defenseless uh, so let's take a look here and see what's in it all right this is a pretty well built up city here they got a lot of stuff going on a lot of upgrades what can I build in here though oh they don't have a bathhouse that's number one as everybody knows well, speaking of valor Fortification. These are all boosted. Looks like they don't have a strong production numbers. Yeah, it's kind of weird being underground. Because they don't really have the forest and everything, right? Well, let's do the bathhouse just to get them all happy and clean. Uh, we got quarries, quarries, bunch of fisheries, population of 14. What units can they make? Because we're gonna need we're gonna need some defense down here. Okay, let's get these guys rocking with a tyrant knight, a tier four unit I can make now. 
Uh, he's got this demoralizing heavy charge. Uh, absolutely fantastic stuff here. But he's a tier 4 and he costs Imperium to maintain. In magic and goalie. Super expensive. I want one of these guys though. He'll be down here protecting the underground. Uh, with our leader here with our big sword. So we're going to build one of them. Get them a bathhouse. And they'll combine uh, with the hero over here. Um, from Chacton or whatnot. Warga. And together they should be a pretty strong force. Alright, so that's the underground. Let's go back up to the top here. A free city can be integrated. Oh. Um, we just did that. Okay, no problem. And. Oh, okay, so we got the tranquility pool. Because this is like a victory condition too if you get all these things. Which one's the tranquility? Okay, so I need one of those. Cool. That's what they had down there. And let's see what's going on here. Bendleton, our capital. Okay, is ready for some more stuff. What do we got here? They only got the one unit in here sitting, but... Okay. What should we get? A farmer's guild. Get these guys really cranking out. We can just keep boosting the defenses in case I ever need them. This is a free thing. Like, not a free thing, but zero turns. Uh, okay, but I don't have any heroes captured. Wizard level 2. Oh, I could use that. Some more Imperiums and Vision Range. It's only going to take one turn. These are all there. What's this room of recall? Rulers, okay. Oh, Respond Rule. Workers Guild. I only build one guild, though. This is boosted, though. I could really hammer out the production if I did this. Per quarry. So how many? How many? Oh, see, I got. Are these, are these quarries? What are, they, what are these? I forget the symbol. No, it won't tell me. I think these are quarries, right? Uh, yeah. So I got a bunch of quarries. So it's a farmer in a quarry kind of city. So do I go make it like really massive population? Or do I get absolutely everything built? I think I'm going to go for the production side of things. Because I can start building these things, right? Yeah, it only takes like one turn. Uh, let's do the Workers Guild. Let's get massive production. We're going to do that. Who else is ready? Uh, Jack Ben has got the blacksmith. And what should we build in Chacton? I want the con a convent in every place. Just because that extra boost. What's the fishmonger do? Let's just do the convent. There we go. Alright. Now we got our guys down here that are still withdrawing. It's going to take forever to get them back. Alright, so they're going to need more troops. I'm going to leave these guys up here just to protect that so I should be building more units I just gotta see what I should build here I actually want just some basic standard units really I'm just gonna grab a tier 1 warrior and just a shield unit just grab him there what are you building over here um, I can just grab those uh, peasant pikemen which are always nice because they upgrade themselves but I might just grab the defender. Like I don't need super, super expensive units at the moment. There's another one of those knights. I'm building as a goblin down there. I build archers. Let's just do another defender. There. That'll help. Uh, you became the race keeper of the bountiful goblins. I've elected your new keeper. Their future say, okay, that's fine. All right, so that's good for now. And turn. Oh, what do we got going on here? The chairman of the Destiny Human Council approaches you, Greens King Alfred. May I speak to you openly? Without waiting for your response, he continues. You were always one of us common people, but now you have ascended. With your magical abilities and your immortality, you are far above us, and we fear you'll become like the Wizard Kings. 
Uh, it seems there are rumors among your people that you have grown distance from them. How do you respond? Suppress the rumors with force. Evil character. Well, I'm not an evil character, though. Can't do that. Draft him. Okay, draft his block. All cities, Disney Empire's effect. Okay. Nope, not a big deal. Throw a feast. 431 gold. All cities, the Destiny Humans, the Empire gain stability for six turns. Investigate the rumors. I lose some knowledge. And it gains stability. So this is just stability, but I can ignore them. Um. That's kind of silly. Well, I'll just gain the stability for money, because I'll gain that back in one turn. There we go. Boost them all up there. What do we got going on here? Oh, this is a uh, new rally here going on. Uh, how come I only got two units to pick from now? Shouldn't I have gotten... Shouldn't I have a whole lot more units? Or I suppose since I can just build them in, this, in the cities now... Okay, so all I got is Gremlin and the Astral Keeper. I mean, these are interesting units. I'll pass on it for the moment. And we got all our stuff being built again. So the convents, our convent is being built, or is built. Ooh, Town Hall level four. And it needs to get a little bigger before we do that. Let's just do like the fishmonger. Get some, get some more food going here. Punk. And we got the warrior built. Let's just do another warrior. Oop, come on here. Nice tier one shield units going. And what is Nimington doing these days? Uh, what can we do here? What can we do here? We need stone walls or anything. Lord's Manor, always handy. Uh, we need one more turn before it expands. So is there anything real quick? We can build an abbey. Uh, counts as a research post. Let's see. Where should we put this? Uh, let me just look at this. Okay, yeah, we're going to just throw an abbey down here. Because why not? We'll just boost this up, get some extra research and some gold. There's no downside to doing that. There, so they'll build that. Boom, a little research post. Or over, or the abbey over the research post. And we'll grab some movement here. Get these guys back. Uh -huh. There we go, good enough. Now we're down underground again. And, hmm. I guess we'll scout. See what we're getting ourselves into here. What's this here? Focus crystals. Okay, this doesn't look that scary. These guys might be able to take these guys down. Wait, how come it was high? Okay, that's fine. What's this? Was this a high risk battle? Okay. It's a safe battle. So we might actually just be able to do that next turn. Uh, you're just going to guard your little city for now. Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot to build that outpost down there. Oh, well, uh, so we got two of these guys now. Let's bring these guys out. We'll figure out what to do with them here. Yeah, I wanted to build that outpost. I might turn Alfred around here. Actually, if I bring him on his own... Yeah, let's just bring him on his own. That'll remind me to actually build that outpost. Okay, let's... In the dark. Okay, 61... Day 61's up. Okay, we got our nice little heal... Uh, uh, spell there. What's this? Target friendly room to gain their boom speed. That's an easy one to grab. Just for, like, the next way to the next book. 
Siege Magic, and Gargoyle. Gargoyle's a unit, a unit one, flying shock unit. You know what? Boom, Gargoyle. And what else we got going here? All the stuff is popping out here. Uh, we're gonna bring our defender down along the road. And yeah, we figure out what we should what we should need next there. Okay, so he they've or they've expanded. Uh, what should we what should we go for? Is there a way to boost something? Okay, I could use a quarry. Use more forest stores. I could just use anything really. More farms. Another quarry. This is always handy here. Let's go for the monolith. So, how many quarries you got? Yeah, one more quarry. Let's go for a quarry so we get that boosted. Uh, I want farms beside this though. And the quarry can go up here. Yes, I think the quarry up there is fine. Um, yeah, let's do that. Quarry. And then I get this monolith here. I always want mana income since I have so many uh, buff spells to upkeep. Who else needs stuff happening here? Oh, okay, so you got the uh, level 16 population. Look how big their, their territory is. Man, I don't actually know what to build here. Like, nothing can be boosted. They've got most everything. Uh, let's just keep hammering the production, I guess. Build quarry plus 15. Yeah, this is an excellent spot for this, because of the iron deposit. Okay, this is a no-brainer here, too. There we go. So this place is just rocking. I mean, I should probably just go for the victory. With however you do it with the Seed of Order. Because it takes one turn to build. Um, I'll, I'll consider it. Because I think if I if I build that, right, um, I'm going to have like, this big war coming towards me. Uh, which could be entertaining too. But I want to take out... I want to like recover all this stuff here. Ah, uh, what do we got for orders? Uh, so you guys are just hanging out down here. Uh, that's actually fine. We're just we're just gonna hang out here and uh, sort out what I want. Okay, so I just wanted to put this little little uh, outpost right here. See what it does. How do I build the outpost? I right, click on there. 38, one turn. Uh, claim the problem. Outpost can be built by hero. We upgrade in the city. It has various upgrades. This can be built on it. Not entered by enemies without trespassing. I gather gold and knowledge income resource. Okay. Each outpost has 10 gold upkeep. That's no problem. Let's see what, let's see what that does. One turn. So you just wait there. Whoa, 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 whoa. How'd this happen? Um. I'm just kind of stunned here. <laughs> Impossible battle. Run, run like you've never ran before. How are we going to defend against that? Okay, Radiance, you're building your Super Knight, right? Three more turns. We're gonna, we're gonna need to. Uh, goodness, that is. Uh, that's quite the the army they got down here. Um. Wow. Okay. Uh. I feel like I should keep building units. <laughs> just keep on. Keep on. I feel like I should stick with just standard units in this army now because it's got it's got uh, some support units, some knights. 
You know what it could use? Uh -huh. It could use some archers. And Chacton has awesome archers it can build. Um, the Furies here. So let's actually line up two Furies. A couple archers there going. And I got you coming down. Okay. And I can also bring in some of these guys. Well, I got a gargoyle I can try. Uh, this is a tier 2 guy. What's his maintenance? 8? They're both 8. They're both the same hit points. I don't quite know why you would pick this guy. A fighter unit? And there's a pole arm. Like, this guy's better... I don't know why you would pick this guy. Oh, he's floating. Is that like a thing? Well, it's probably because he's floating. Is his reason to pick him. Alright, well let's... Um, Alright, I want him to keep it kind of standard on that. Alright, we'll... We'll hold off on that. And we will... End the turn, I think. Alright, day 62... Oh, look at this cool little ghost ship over here at Indian Z. There is a lot to do in this game. Like, trying to pay attention to it all. What's this? Rainbow Clover, was that always there? Okay, I didn't even know I've seen that. And there's that tower. There's so much to this game, that's crazy. I don't know how you could play on a big, large map. Wild. Alright. Okay, so we got the gargoyle researched. And we can pick a new tome. So this is... I'm getting overwhelmed at the moment, and now i got to pick a new tome. How do... Okay, this is just crazy, the choices here. I'm doing Materiaism. Um, right here, or sorry, Materium. Again here. Uh, so I can either do, like, Lava. I want to sort of do this one so I can get some more direct Lava damage spells for combat. Uh, but I could do this one, which gives me this awesome gold golem. Uh, and then there's a bunch of order. Like, this this stuff in here is absolutely awesome and crazy. But I'm going to grab this one. Uh, because I want I want some in-combat spells. I think that's going to be very handy. So we're going to grab this. Is not magma a glorious spectacle to behold? A union of fire and earth streaming inexorably toward your enemies. Swallowing them bringing fiery death. The landscape itself is reshaped when it flows, with beautiful scars traced over the realm. Alright. Yeah, I got a god of fire. Uh, so this one's just battlements, which I don't really need. This one I'll probably take, because this is one of the damaging spells I want. This one's <laughs> interesting, because you can terraform the land into desolate terrain. That's got to be so damaging. Anyways, let's... Uh Let's do the Lava Burst. Crazy. Unlocked. Root of Materium Affinity Province Improvement. Uh... Really? What's that? Oh, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to that section... ...of, uh... ...of the book. <laughs> I didn't actually look what that was. Oh, is it this here? Uh, Affinity... What's this work as? Special improvement. Oh, once built will reveal its location to all empires. Oh, okay, so is this like the seed of order? Oh, okay. So... Right, okay, so I can do the Materium one. Or I can do the seed of order. Right, okay, so that's... That's fun. Goodness. There's so much. <laughs> so much. What's this? Beacon of Valor. Uh, it's just fortification health. Okay. Maybe I should just boost my, my wizard tower, probably. I can do some of these. Spell damage, ruin, so much things. Like, should I just build this and just see what happens? Okay, let's... Oh, no, because this... When you build this, I get, uh, like, bad guys are supposed to spawn, right? Uh, but I, I have an army, sort of. 
Do you think I can... I think I can move my army up? Uh, before... <coughs> before they get here? <laughs> I don't know. I'm too scared to do anything. Alright, so this is... I'm not actually too sure what you get from this. Here's my little outpost. I don't know what it does. <laughs> I can build walls. But there's no units to defend it. Um, what's the watch there do? Grab the outpost vision? Sure. Why not? There we go. So here's my army i got to figure out what to do with. i got a bunch of guys coming in here. We're just going to sort of gather here. And then figure out what to do with my army. Well, I gotta, I gotta take um, down this guy, right? You know, one step at a time, kind of thing. Well, this is gonna be plenty to take that guy down. All right, so we'll organize that in a second. Uh, Pendleton worker. Okay, so this is the workers' guild done. It has so much production. It just doesn't matter what I do here. Some more gold. I do these. This is like an instant build. Uh, I might as well just upgrade my wizard tower. Why not? This just takes one turn. This is like a production powerhouse. Um, oh, there's my guard. Oh, I thought this was a summon unit. Never mind. Okay. Uh, lots and lots happening. Chacton. It's got its a fishmonger thingy. Uh, uh, grants. Oh, I should have had that built before I did that. Oh, they're building archers, though, so not a big deal. Let's build this anyways, just so they have it. Uh, it buffs the melee damage of units coming out here. And uh, Outpost founded. Yeah, okay, I've seen that. Gargoyle has been researched. <clears throat> and, okay, I already did that, so we already picked that. Good, alright. Uh, let me organize my army here. Okay, I organize the army, and down here, these guys are still running. Just run, 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 because that is, that is crazy. And then, so I organize my army up here. It's going to have two stacks right here as soon as another archer gets built. And then we'll head down. So I'll do one more turn in the video, uh, just so I remember to merge... These guys move them down. Okay, so let's do that before I forget. So, there we are. Boop. Alright, so I got a decent army here. Some miscellaneous here, but I did want to simplify it a bit. Because um, we got some knights, a bunch of shield guys. A whole, uh, too many shield guys now in archers, but these shield guys are just awesome. I mean, they're just a wall of, wall of soaking up damage. Uh, spell ready to cast. And I always forget what I was casting. Or is it just like reminding me that I can cast a spell? It's probably just reminding me of that, right? Alright, I don't have anything to cast though. Okay, let's go through here. Bindleton's just producing things like crazy. It's got a massive purple wizard tower now. Um. I might as well just grab everything. What's Wizard Tower Apex? Channeling Chamber. Plus 10 world map casting points. Oh, that's handy. In combat. Ca okay. Let's grab this. And... What else we got going on? Oh yeah, the bathhouse is done in Radiance. Yay! They, they definitely need the bathhouse. And Beacon of Valor, what's that? Because it's boosted. Uh, you know what? It might get attacked down here from those dragons. So let's... Yeah, let's just let's just build that. Get some fortification out. I don't have any experience with the cities being attacked or anything, so... Why not? Why not? Outpost produces little watchtower. Well, look at the little watchtower in there. Okay, so it's watching the south. Hey, this guy changed. Oh my, they keep getting st 
stronger. Why are these guys so strong all of a sudden? He was just a giant before. This game's crazy. Okay, what's the outpost do? I found a city, raise outposts, found bountiful go er, goblins. I can build walls. Okay, let's just build walls. I, I don't know. There's no nothing there to defend it. But <laughs> we might as well buff it up. Oh, and uh, Chacton can uh, grab a, a thing here. But it's running out of like things to build, so... I mean, it, it wants it wants a... Oh, this is boosted now. That's okay, we'll get you next time. And a Forester. How much Foresters do I have? One. Well, let's, let's build another Forester. Uh, right here. We'll connect the... Oh, no. See, that city should have the land right next to it. Maybe we'll just keep going out into the water and grab food. Or I can keep grabbing quarries. I mean, you can't go wrong with a good quarry either. Like, the, like there's nothing else to build here as choices. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a mine, though. Grab some more money. Oh, and then... Ooh. Right. Conduits are handy to have. But I have one of each, so that's okay. Do I have a mine? I got a mine. Hmm. Let's let's do a mine here since I don't have many options for one in case I need one again. Ooh, the cursed burrow they gotta take out too. Man, oh man. So much stuff. Let's do a mine. Keep expanding that direction. And uh can these guys move at all? No. We're, okay, these guys can, but we're gonna keep them together uh for next turn. And and you're good down there. Okay, uh, this is crazy. There's so much to this game. So much time it would take to, to focus all this. Just absolutely crazy. All right, but I'm going to leave that uh, there for now because it's going on getting close to 50 minutes or so. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Everybody, take care.